how do you decrease the formality of a large lecture class and encourage engagement from all students? I go in and I act stupid. You know, I, I um, it's it's real important uh, to not be stuffy and to uh, and just be real comfortable with the students. If you just act really human and approachable, um, it, it breaks that up. Also, I try to get them talking to each other because I want them to be talking to each other all during the course. Although not not if I'm actually saying something, I want them to hear, but I want them to be to know each other and to be comfortable in there and to know their their neighbors. And so, the very first day, I'll I'll um, ask them all to fill out a card, uh, index card that, that uh, you know tells what their major is and what their interest is in the class <clears throat> and stuff like that. But I have um, them talk to their neighbor and have the neighbor fill out the card for them. So you, I, one person has to tell the person next to them what their major is and what they're interested in, and, and that person writes it down. So they, they on the first day get to know the person that's sitting next to them. Um, just whatever I can think of to to get them talking to each other, get them talking to me. Whenever possible, I'll, um, I'll, I'll ham it up. Um, for instance, I get up on a table and I do a, I do a dinosaur walk to, to demonstrate uh, the, the particular pattern that you see in footprints and in, in, in trackways. I mean, there's a particular pattern that you see and it's caused by a certain movement of the dinosaur. And so I'll get up and I'll do that on all fours, which is a Actually, I don't think it's that 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 great a thing, but the, the students really get excited about me getting up on the table and, and, and walking all fours across the table. Um, if at all possible, stand on top of the podium and point something out. Things like that, just things that are that are that are um, outrageous. It, it 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 makes students comfortable. It makes them laugh, you know, and that's 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 a good thing. Whenever possible, I try to get them talking to each other about answering a question. And so whenever possible, I break them into groups, and, and I'll ask a particular question. I'll ask them to um, to, uh, to think about it and talk about it in groups and, and respond to it. Now, another important thing about keeping the atmosphere relaxed is when I, when you ask questions, and I ask questions all the time, so they're, it, it's really important for me to ask questions constantly during a, during a class. I don't want to call it a lecture, but during the class because I want to make sure that they're keeping up. I want to make sure that I understand um, what they're thinking. You know. Also, if I if I just talk for too long and don't ask a question, they just get into a note-taking mode and they just sort of disconnect. So if I just ask a question every now and then of the class, it gets them back into an interactive, interactive mode. <clears throat> um, so, but when you ask questions, you got to be careful that you 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 wait for the response. So you have to take time to wait for a response, and sometimes it doesn't happen right away. So you just sit there and just wait. And then when people make responses, I, I generally try to ask questions where there isn't a wrong response. Like, what is your observation on this, or what is your observation on that, or have you ever seen such and such? And people will volunteer and they give a response, and I don't say it's. I generally don't say it's a good response. I certainly never say it's a bad response. I just listen to the response and write it down or note it or repeat it to them. And so any response that they make, any question I ask, is safe and it's 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 accepted and it's and it's um, it's um, you know it's it's a it's a neutral response. So I'm always listening to them. If you start if you start having questions that um, have one answer, you know like what's the answer to this equation, then your risk factor is very high if you're a student because the chances are you're going to be wrong. So, so why answer the question you know, unless you absolutely know that you're right? So I try to, try to ask questions and encourage responses so that people just feel comfortable answering questions. This is when I was camping in Paris, I used to be in Mexico, and um, I, used to, I used to go down to Mexico to camp on the beach in this one place, and it was a cool place because it was cheap. You could camp on the beach for 10 pesos a night, which was a dime at the time. And, uh, and you didn't have to worry, you just ate your food and threw the trash out, threw your garbage out on the, on the beach because the pigs would come walking through the garbage. And, um, and they were real noisy when they eat, so they make this you know, grunt. 
just saw and slurped and like that. And so I'm in the middle of the night and the pigs come out and they're eating my garbage and they're making a lot of noise and they're waking me up and I would get out and I would shoo them away. There's this one pig that was doing it. I would shoo them away and come back. And finally I got really angry and, and I jumped out of, um, out of my sleeping bag and ran out and started chasing the pig across the beach. I was naked because I sleep there. <laughs> so I'm running, I'm running naked across the beach of the moon like that, and I'm kicking the pig in the beach of the and it's squealing and squealing, and they're running, you know. And, and um, so I was able to outrun a pig on the beach um, pretty easily, and kick, and kick it in the rear end. Of the <laughs> That's my story about pig speed. And then from that, um, for the rest of the time I was there, every time I went out, because the pigs just wandered around during the day. Every time I was out doing my, going about my business, this pig would watch me and it would follow me around and hide behind trees and look around the trees. <laughs> it just sort of stalked me.